you never know it. when of course we saw a great comeback in our last major tournament, the UK Championships just before Christmas. John Higgins came back from 9-5 down, so it's well within Marco's grasp, but he has to play no miss snooker from now on, because this boy can put them from anywhere. And the number of times Marco from the break off has left this red on, there was a a stage where he was breaking off just the old traditional way, you know, not swinging the white around the angles, and he was getting it safer that way. So I don't know why he changed. the white green does pot but I think probably try and keep the pressure on his opponent doesn't want to give his opponent an easy opener saying in the mid-session interval it's coming up to about uh, 6.30 out in China and there'll be an awful lot of people watching this final quite a few in the audience here I wonder how many television sets from Chinese restaurants around the UK are tuned into the snooker at the moment. They absolutely love it. Yes, and I'm sure all the audience here in the Wembley Arena are loving it as well. They want to see a few more frames. They're enjoying every single minute of it. Yeah, the reception they give both players, and uh, Marco probably getting more of the audience behind him. As you can hear from that round of applause, they would love to see a comeback. First glance, Dennis, I don't think he's on a red here. He's hit that perfectly. Just what we were saying earlier, Ken, when you're in front and everything's going well for you, you play that shot and you leave yourself three or four reds. When you're behind and trying to play back into it, this is the sort of thing that happens. And this is a very thin cut he's faced with here. Very unlucky there. Okay, he's covered that, but that's not the point. He was in amongst the balls when he split them up and had no luck at all. Yes, and the red is just far enough away from this pocket that this is not straightforward. This plant, he's going to try and put one off the other, the one closest to the right cushion. But I'm not sure what will go in off that way. He could try and swerve as well, but it's not an absolute gimme, this one. It's just far enough away from the pocket to make this a little bit awkward. cushioned first he'd have to catch the red very thin hawk I'll show you exactly what he's faced with so when he misses the first red hits a cushion he 
have to get a thin snick on the red to pot it. That's why he's thinking a little bit longer about which way to go about this. It's the fact when he plays this that the cue ball could be going into the pack here. So. Where's the cue ball? Well, he's managed to avoid the reds and that was very well played. Put enough side on the cue ball, avoid contact on the pack and judge it perfectly. Just have a look at this. Got the side take there off the side cushion. Perfect on the yellow. I think we've talked many, many times about the pressure that's on things your way when he's playing here because of the number of people that are watching him back home. But I think he's got beyond that now. I think he relaxes and that's not a factor now, Ken. Yes, I think oh. one time it may have weighed on his shoulders slightly, but he has that more experience now. He's grown up as a player. He seems to relish it now more than anything. Will Marco Phil get another shot in this <laughs> final? Is this going to be the last frame that they're going to see here in this year's Masters? Fabulous crowd in this evening. Not a straightforward run to a big break here. A few awkward reds. Above the black, try and once he punts that, or open things up a little bit. Yeah, when he pops this red, it's going to clear the path for the other three reds, but at the moment, the two reds to the left of the black are blocking those from potting. I think that pot does go with those two reds, and he may elect to try and get on that now. And once he pots that, Certainly open things up. Yeah, one more shot, and that pocket is clear then for the three reds around the pink spot. Marco will know that this is every chance for Ding to lift the title here. Okay, he's pushed the red tight on the pink. Will he get another chance? Well, even if he doesn't, Dennis, I think he could be very proud of the way he's performed uh, this week, Michael Phil. He's played some excellent snooker. And he really is now one of the top players in the game. It's been a fantastic week of snooker. A lot of shocks and surprises, but these two guys have made history this week, the first time that I major final has been contested two people from the far east and as Stephen Hendry was saying in the studio he thinks as I also think in the next well I said the next 10 years I think the top 16 in the world there will be a lot of young Chinese players in that top 16 42 I think Stephen Hendry said there will be 8 in the top 16 Better start having okay. some Chinese, Dennis. What do you reckon? The house, about as far as I can get. <laughs> well, it's great to see uh, Ding. He's being interviewed now, and he's, his English is coming on with each tournament. Then. That's you've got to have great admiration for them, really. Come up a little bit short, he'll be slightly hampered. He's 52 Seven. points in front. So, this and 
the blue, and then one more red. He's just looking to see exactly what he needs. in front the possible 59 on the table so any red will do and he doesn't have to worry about position on the black just roll the red in 63 the UK champion yet to win the world championship but the Masters is the one that everyone wants on their CV one of the toughest tournaments to win it looked like we were going to have a late line care but that frame that would have brought Marco to just one behind has made the whole difference here yes I'd like to see him smiling yeah, as well absolutely the same smile and even the nice smile from Marco Phil. Yeah, that was the turning point in this match. But what a snooker. He did lay to win that frame. 79. Yes, it's been a worthy final, as you said, Ken. These two great players from the Far 18. East. The crowd here would have loved to have seen a closer match. Marco certainly would have loved to have seen a closer match. But Ding was just... Too strong, it has to be said. 85. Can he finish with a double? Oh. It doesn't really matter. He got that classic final, but it's been a terrific final. And look at those two young Chinese players. It's not a fantastic to see. Ding Xiaowei has won the Labyrinth Mobile Masters for the very first time. And isn't he delighted? Well done to both players.